Hi guys and welcome back to KB Ants. This is going to be a tutorial video on how to do a test tube setup for your new Queen Ants. Uh, it's quite simple but I thought I'd just do it for all the beginners out there. Um, all you'll need to do with a test tube setup is a test tube like this one, some water and something to make it easier to pour into the test tube itself. Um, and something to poke the cotton down into the test tube. I like to use these tweezers. Um, something to keep in mind when you're doing a test tube setup. Everything has to be sterile, just to reduce the how long it takes for bacteria and mold to grow in the test tube, because it will happen eventually. Um, if you keep everything sterile, it won't happen as fast. So like, you need to make sure your test tube is clean. Any instruments you use, all has to be clean and even wash your hands just to reduce the risk of mould coming quicker than it would normally. Um, right, I'll, I'll show you how to do them. Um, with the test tubes I like to fill it up just above halfway with water. Um, so you just take your water, you can either use tap water or bottled water. Um, to be honest I've used both and they both work fine. So you want to fill it up. probably about there I'd say and then you just need to get some cotton you just push it into here I normally roll it up a bit first push it into your test tube and now here's a bit that you've got to be quite quick otherwise you'll get an air bubble in here which it won't do anything but it's just annoying so you just take whatever you're going to use to push your cotton down into and you just do it quick so like that, see like there's no air bubble there um, and then what I like to do is just flatten it down until all the um, cotton is wet there should be no water coming out, no water so that's how you do that um, and then obviously when you get your queen you just get another piece of cotton roll it up a little bit it in the end and there you've got a perfect founding chamber for your queen um, it's quite simple to do it's just the video I wanted to make is to help all the new starters out there and this is a small test tube but when the colony gets bigger because like I said in some of my other videos the longer you keep in a test tube the better um, so then you start off with a small one and when it starts getting a bit mouldy and you just transfer them to a bigger one this is one with my Massius Niger colony in um, and obviously you can see the size difference because this one's got about 20 workers um, and they've gone up to the bigger size so it would have started off with just a queen and probably about 5 workers in there and then when the, the cotton got mouldy then I'd move it up to the bigger one and um, that's what you can see in this just because it gives them more room for the workers obviously when they get bigger um, the good thing about test tubes is it means that the queen can hydro-regulate so if it's a um, high humidity loving species they obviously will go co closer to the cotton and if they don't they'll move further away from the cotton so it lets them just pick and choose what they like best um, they can also drink from this so you don't need to add any water just when obviously when they get um, couple of workers then obviously it's food and some sugar water um, yeah when you do get catch your first queen you want to take a test tube set up put them in one like this and then hide it away for as long as you can without checking on it and, and then the only time you need to do anything is when they get the first workers and that's when you add your food and your water or your food and your sugar water and stuff like that so yeah uh, I know it's difficult when you get, you know, when you first get into keeping, just to leave them alone, but it does make a big difference. Um, I did an experiment once where I had two queens caught them both the same day, and one I left out in just normal daylight, and then one I hid away, and the one that was hidden away did produce brood quicker, and the um, larvae and pupae hatched quicker, so it does make a big difference. Um, 
So yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, don't think there's anything else. Oh yeah, um, when you um, do it how I've done it and keeping everything clean, test tube can last anything from a few weeks to a few months, depending on how well you do it. And really, it depends on how clean the ants are being because if they use this piece of cotton here as the bathroom area, um, obviously you get mould a lot quicker. So it's a number of factors that you know chooses how long you'll be able to go with that mould building up in the test tube. So yeah, I think that's everything. So if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe. And um, I'll be doing more tutorial videos and stuff like that. So thank you very much. Quick recap, all you'll need is somewhere to push a cotton down, water, test tube and cotton. And that's it. There's nothing more to it really. Um, Alright, thank you very much guys. See you again next time.